Mr. Alexander, you are suing your ex-girlfriend for $40 for the cost of the administration fee to legally remove your name from her four-month-old daughter, Jariah's birth certificate, because there is absolutely no way you are her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Stewart, you claim that Mr. Alexander is Jariah's biological father and say you're devastated that he would want to remove his name from her birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, you state that his negligent behavior has caused you and your two children to become homeless, and you've asked the court to award you $1,500 for child care expenses. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Alexander, tell the court... Why should your name be removed? Um, Your Honor, I have several reasons why my name should be removed from the birth certificate. For one, one night we were um, in the bed chilling. I seen text messages and several phone calls from this guy named Dexter. She wouldn't answer the phone when I was in the room. I guess she would wait until maybe I left or whatever, so that's kind of a suspicion for me. So you saw text messages right. coming in on her phone? Right. But you never questioned her about it? Um, yeah, I asked her about it, and she told me, like, don't worry about it. Like, basically, like, it's none of my business. So that's, that's the reason why I have a doubt. Also, a couple times, when we were bowling, we were supposed to go bowling to, like, a, you know, pregame bowling or whatever. Um, we got drunk or whatever before we left and actually went bowling. And she told me that, basically, I was too drunk, like, to bowl. Basically took me home with the kid and, like, stay here and watch the kids while she went out somewhere else and didn't come home till about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's... That's why I'm in doubt, too. Because this was during the window of conception. Right. So you feel like she was cheating on you during the time... Right. ...Jariah was conceived. Correct. Is that true, Ms. Stewart? No, Your Honor, it is not. And... I'm not even sure why he denies. I mean, I didn't tell him that I was pregnant until I was about two and a half months, but I didn't tell him because we were rocky at that time. It wasn't a solid foundation, so I didn't want to make it even worse by bringing the baby into the situation. So, Mr. Alexander, when Ms. Stewart told you that she was pregnant, did you have doubt instantly? Um, I did. I did have doubt because when she told me she was pregnant, we were actually on a three-month break and we got back together, like, two months after that and then that's when she told me she was pregnant. So, we didn't have sex on that three-month break, so how could you be pregnant? By me, anyway, is what I'm saying. So, you feel like the time didn't add up. Right. So, Miss Stewart... Were you intimate with Mr. Alexander yes. during that three-month break? Yes, I so was. So you say you were? Yes. I don't understand how he doesn't say that. Every time we're on a break, it's not necessarily a break because we, you know, we still have sex, so it's not really a break. So were you cheating? <laughs> no, Your Honor, I was not. Let me tell you what happened. So I started feeling that he was cheating on me. And I went online to, I guess, try to see if there was a way that you could tell if your partner is cheating on you. And so I saw this website that says seven ways to know if your partner is cheating on you. And every single one, he was doing everything that it said. And then at the bottom of the link, it said that there was a way you could put a track, tracking device on his phone to see if he was, you know, the text messages. So I put it on there, and sure enough, there was a girl that he was talking to on the, the tracking device. So you put a tracking device on his phone? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have proof of that? Did you bring anything yes, to court? Yes, I do. Yes. You did? Jerome, let me see that, please. And so this here is a log... Yes. ...of the calls that were sent to your phone. Yes. Walk but... me through this. Okay, so the, the first one at the bottom, the 7.08 p.m., that is when he was gone. He told me that he was at his aunt's house, and obviously you can see there that he's talking to a girl so right there. So at 7.08 p.m., his phone got a text from a number that's not yours... Yes. ...that says, I'm looking forward to tonight. Yes. I'm telling him I'm working late. Yes. And then at 7.15... Oh. 7.15 p.m. Me too. I can't wait to see your fine booty. (laughs) (laughs) 
Mr. Alexander. Yes. Do you recognize this I text? Don't, I don't, Your Honor, not at all. Of Absolutely course. not. Of course you wouldn't. So you're I'm saying not, I, this is not your phone? It's not, it's not me. I didn't text. Do I, you I don't recognize you. the text? Of course, baby, I'm on my way now at 10, 7, 15. You didn't write that either? No, Your Honor. So you're saying this app is completely faulty Correct. and this is not your phone? Correct. And you weren't going after anybody else's fine booty? That's <laughs> correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Stewart, I'm trying to understand what this all has to do with Dexter. Because if we're being completely honest, even if this is his phone log yeah. and he was going after someone else or dating someone else or cheating, that would not have anything to do with the paternity of Jariah. Okay, so after I found all of this, I decided to, to be the same way as him. I came... No. I came up with a plan with my best friend. I changed her name in my phone to Dexter, and I was texting her, pretending I was talking to a dude, just so that he would think I was cheating, because he cheated. Mm. I've seen the text message about, can I, can I come see you? How you doing? Yeah, like, 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 that's her man when I'm supposed to be her man. So that's, like I said, that's doubts of cheating right there to me, if you ask me. That's the whole reason why I think well, I the believe only she reason was I, the only reason I did that is because I saw him cheating first. So you're saying the entire thing was just fake. It was a hoax. It was something you were doing to make him feel badly for what you thought he was doing. Just because I wanted him to feel like how, I, how he made me feel when I saw those text messages. I just wanted him to see how it felt to, you know, be cheated on. Mr. Alexander, you brought a witness. I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please step up. State your name for the record. Courtney Alexander. And you are? I am Mr. Alexander's sister. His sister. Yes. Ma'am, what do you have to add to this situation? What do you know about this? Well, um, Ms. Stewart and I have been friends for over 15 years, and we've always talked and told each other secrets about, you know, having backup plans as far as if you have a boyfriend, keeping one on the side for when your boyfriend makes you mad, you can, you know, just go talk to other guys or whatever. So, as far as this guy goes, it's not a hoax. They actually hang out all the time. No, that's false. That's okay. Honor, he, he, he calls and texts her phone several times throughout the night, 1 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the morning. Like I said, but yeah, she don't answer the phone. Right. Like, that's kind of a suspicion. A person who calls you at 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, especially a male, I mean, he only wants one thing, and that's probably a booty call, so... What about your booty? That's what I'm thinking. Your fine booty you're looking for, like... Also, I just want to add in that we've actually gone out to meet guys together. I have no idea what she's talking about. You've gone out to meet guys with yes, Miss Stewart. Yes, recently, yes, we have. They just had a little break also, and she thought he was cheating, so we went out to go hang out with guys. Yarn also, she's also told me several times that when we be in the heat of an argument that the baby's not mine, so... I said that one time. Therefore, one I, time I, I, I have it. doubt. So you do admit that you said it, Miss Stewart? Yes, one time. Yes, I did say that. My words was, I wish that she wasn't yours so that I could be done with you. Thank you so much for your testimony, ma'am. You may be seated. Thank you. Now that Jariah's been here, what has Mr. Alexander done to step up to the plate? <sighs> he, he doesn't do anything. Um... All my doctor's appointments, he, he's only came to... I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, out of all my doctor's appointments, he's only came to the finding out the gender and then the last two. I've gone to all of them by myself. He, I'm sorry. And this hurts you so much because, because you thought he would be there? Yeah, and she doesn't deserve that look at her. She's so cute. Like, why would you deny her? It just doesn't make sense to me. And he just, he, he doesn't do anything. One time, I asked him if he could make her a bottle. He refused to. So I gave Jariah to him, went to go make the bottle. And when I come back, she's on the bed crying. Because he won't, he doesn't want, he doesn't hold um, her. He doesn't Your Honor, do I'm, anything. I'm, you don't want to hold I'm, this beautiful I'm not baby? Gonna, I'm not going to take care of something that's, that I don't know for sure if it's not mine. Something? No, I'm, a baby. I'm sorry. 
a baby that I don't know for sure. Let's is get not it mine. right. Right. It's a beautiful, innocent little baby. Right. Whether she's yours or not, if she needs a bottle, you 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 could give it to her. <laughs> right. You're right. I could. But you're saying the doubt, the the sincere doubt that you carry around is preventing you from connecting with this child. Right. Ms. Stewart, do you understand how the tit for tat has come back to haunt you? Yes. You get that, right? I do. It was a dumb mistake. Do you think he can be a good father? Yes, Your Honor. He can be a great father. We have another kid, a son, and he treats him perfect. And he claims him and he... But he won't give the baby a bottle? Right, right. What is going on? Your Honor, I even have these text messages from him. May I I see that, Jerome? These are... Text messages from me and him. I asked him if he can watch our kids and he clearly refused. So, first you say, I need a favor. You're gonna be busy Sunday or Monday. Yeah. And then he says, I don't know, it depends. And then you say, okay, <laughs> well, I need you to watch the kids while I get my hair done. He says, I'll watch Jacoby, but Jariah, hell no, nah, find her daddy. Yes, Your Honor, that's how I felt. Why? I, I said it before, I, I, if I'm gonna take care of Jariah, I want to be sure that she's mine before I get too attached to her, and then it turns out that she's not mine. I don't, I don't, I don't want it to go that way. Are you being spiteful, Mr. Alexander? Just to watch her with her brother? What, what would that do to you? It just seems a little spiteful. So, Ms. Stewart, you've come to court and you have a countersuit as well. Yes. You are asking the court to award you Money for child care expenses. Yes. Did you bring a list of things for the court? I have, yes. Receipts. Jerome, let me see that, please. You've made a list of child care expenses. $168 in diapers, $120 in wipes, $675 in formula, baby clothes, totaling $1,563. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor, it really hurts just to be alone. I don't... I I just don't like the whole situation. I mean, right now, I'm homeless. I don't have anywhere to stay because of him. Because he got us kicked out of our old place, and now he's denying our daughter, and everything's just all messed up just because of him and because of the stupid lie. None of this would even be going on if if she wasn't talking to Dexter. That's the whole reason why all this is going on. Because she was talking to Dexter, and that's what got me in doubt. I see so clearly that if you're gonna try to continue to have a relationship with a person, especially have a child with him at some later date, that it definitely isn't the right strategy. Right. Um... (laughs) Right now, he really doesn't know the truth in part because you planted the seed of doubt in his mind. Yeah, I understand. Mr. Alexander, I still don't agree with the way you've behaved towards this innocent, beautiful little child, especially considering that she's the mother of another one of your children. (laughs) So... (laughs) I'm ready to get the results because I want to see where you two are going to go from here after we figure out what the truth is as it relates to Jariah's paternity. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Alexander versus Stewart, when it comes to four-month-old Jariah Alexander, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Alexander, Mr. Alexander, you are her father. You feel vindicated, Ms. Stewart? I see you are feeling very emotional over there. I'm just happy at the end that the results came back like I said that they would.
And how do you feel, Mr. Alexander, now that um, you know well, for sure? Now that I know for sure that that's my daughter, I will step up to the plate, be a man, and take care of her. I will definitely do that. Good, now. good. <laughs> Speaking of that fact, you asked for a name change. We don't need a name change now. Right. Because she's, in fact, your little girl. Right. With that said, I am dismissing your claim for the $40. Are we clear? No. Judgment for the defendant on that. As for your counterclaim, ma'am, you were claiming you spent $1,563 on child care expenses. You provided receipts yeah. and a log as to what you spent. Yeah. Since, in fact, Mr. Alexander has been determined to be Jariah's biological father, you are entitled to half that amount. Okay. All right? Okay. Under the law. And, Mr. Alexander, you should give that to her without issue. The amount is $781.50 judgment for the defendant. Clear? Clear? Yes, Your Honor. Now, with that said, I always encourage our families, our parents, even people that just have to co-parent together, that it's better to do it voluntarily. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. It's your child. You have two children together now. But they shouldn't have to ride this roller coaster of emotions, disappointment, right. and doubt, because now the DNA has given us the proof. Mr. Moody, you right. say Ms. Vaughn, who is 16 years your junior, is a serial cheater who can't be trusted. Yes, You yes. claim she cheated on you with multiple men and you are convinced the DNA test will prove that you did not father her three-year-old son, Kadir. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Vaughn, you admit you have been unfaithful, but say you are certain Mr. Moody is Kadir's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Moody, why are you so positive Ms. Vaughn has been deceiving you? When I first met Ms. Vaughn, I asked her three questions. Do you want a relationship? Do you want to just have sex? Or you just want to be friends? What she told me was she wanted a relationship. So, okay, that's what I gave her. I gave her the relationship. As time goes by, you you ain't gonna believe this, you But as time, <laughs> as time goes by, you Tell me. As time goes, as time goes by, as I seen and pay attention to her reaction, how things change in her demeanor, I started questioning her about it. Like, why you not coming to see me no more like you used to? When I leave to go, I go to leave. Sometimes I leave to go to work at 12. She'll be there at 6 and spend that whole time with me to the time me to go to work. Sometimes it might be two days and I ain't even seen her at all. So, who you with? That's my question. Who you been with? Cause I you, ain't with nobody. You feel like I ain't you doing somebody nothing. else. I ain't doing nothing. That's what you tell me, y'all. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't been with nobody. Okay, if you ain't been with nobody, swear it on God. I swear on my children, life, my life, and everybody's life. I ain't been with nobody. You don't want to come to find out I done got on her nerves so much about that. So she just admitted it was like, okay, it's a possibility that our old son might not be yours. I thought I was ready for that relationship. But clearly, yes, I made a mistake, and I admitted to him. I became a grown woman, and I told him the truth. So I am, I, I, I thought at the time I was ready for a relationship, but clearly I wasn't. Because I'm young, I'm young. So in my mind and in my feelings, this is what I wanted. I wanted a family. But I didn't react it like that. All right, so Ms. Vaughn, you admit there were other men you were having sex with during the time you were also having sex with Mr. Moody. Yes, Your Honor. And so, so much so that you had to admit that the oldest son may not be his. I did admit it, yes, Your Honor. And so what happened then? By her admitting it, and you know, I got to take the DNA test. I have to do that. So what I did, we got the money together and we went and took a DNA test. Come to find out the child was mine. All right. Which made me feel very... I felt good about that. No, I yes, felt sir. real good about that. I felt real good about that. So Honestly. you got that taken care of. You got the answer. The older child was yours. But you say the warning signs kept happening? Oh, my good Warning signs. Oh, my... Y'all know. <laughs> One day, she drove to work. She come home. I'm getting up that morning. I'm finna go to work. I get in the car. Your Honor, now, I asked... But when, I, when I seen this, I ain't asked that. When I get in the car, I looked in the car. It's grass all on... Uh, grass all on the floor of my car and everything. Now, keep yes, in mind, Your Honor... Listen, now, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. I had Keep in mind, Your Honor. Keep in mind. I had picked somebody wait up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Keep in mind, Your Honor. Keep in mind, now. Before I seen that grass and all that stuff in the car, when the I said, babe, where you at in the car? 
Oh, I ain't had nobody in the car. I ain't, I ain't had nobody in no, your no, car. Cor- that's, that's I ain't incorrect. had nobody that's in your car. All right, correct. so she so said, I, came, I told you. So I came back and asked her, I said, well, how did all the grass get in my car just because you work, well, you work at ain't nothing but concrete. If you step in grass, you got at least about 50 to 100 feet. And I know good and well you ain't did that in the car park right there in the front. You know what I'm well, saying? I, so, I did tell you. So I she, told so you that she I told picked, me. I picked them she up told and me, I dropped them off so and she I got told paid gas. So she told me that she did after the fact. That she did have... But that's a minute I told you the truth and I didn't think nothing was wrong with that. She, after the I fact, I didn't think y'all. nothing was wrong with that. After the fact? Oh, you want to tell me the truth? After the fact? Oh, she do that a lot too. She tell me the truth after, after the fact. After the fact. So, Miss Vaughn, were you cheating then too? You honest? You say you became a woman and you just started telling the truth. At that time, Your Honor, no, I was not cheating. You weren't? No. You I wasn't. You weren't cheating then. I said around that time, I wasn't. What about... Okay. No, but what about the hotel incident you finally okay. admitted to? Okay, the hotel incident, but I did not have... I didn't cheat it. Well, what you do? I was being... I have been flirtatious, yeah, at a but hotel, I didn't cheat it. At a hotel? You been first days at a hotel? Okay. I, yeah, I was flirtatious, okay, well, well, I cheated. Posted, Mr. Uh, Bowden, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, that's what you do at hotels. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why we were even at a hotel. What happened at the hotel? Uh, exactly, Your Honor. Yeah, what she... I'm asking. Okay, oh, you're asking me what happened at the hotel. This is what she told me after the fact, after the fact, after the fact. Three uh, after the facts. I okay. I went to the hotel. I ain't have sex. I just gave oral sex. Is that not cheating? Okay, yes. If you want to talk about but that. But she just said you ain't Yes, at that man. time, if you want to talk about that, because you, ju- you jumping, you jumping. So, if we're talking about that, so yes, I did. Wait, I, which hotel time is more than one hotel? No, no, Your Honor. No, we no, had no. been at... It's the point in time that we was at a hotel and we were struggling. But the point in time he's talking about is around the time I was cheating. Yes, I did have oral sex. Yes, I told him. I told him the truth. So, uh, still, after that came out, a lot of most stuff still didn't come out. <clears throat> so, what <clears throat> happens when you find out your girlfriend's pregnant? Well, well what, what runs through my head is it's a possibility this child might not be mine. It's a strong that's possibility. Your first and thought? The reason, and that's the, my first thought. And the only reason of that is because I know her demeanor and how she act at certain times. And the same way she, her, the same demeanor and how she acting when the, from the first pregnancy is the same demeanor and how she acting now at the <gasps> second. And that's why you doubt you are Kadir's biological father. Yana, that's <gasps> correct. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. But, Ms. Vaughn, you say you were not cheating during that time? During that time, Your Honor, no, I was not. I have grown. I may have had the same look he may say or demeanor, <laughs> whatever, but that does not determine who I am. I can't even... I, I can't fight with, fight with fire with that. You know? You understand, Your Honor? No, like I said, at that time, no, Your Honor, I was faithful. Okay. If that, I have that, been faithful. Your Honor, if that's so true, if that's so true and she was so faithful, so faithful, ask her why she failed a lot of tip ten. Ask her why she failed a lot of tip ten. Your Honor, went once Wait. Kid, when Kadir was born, Your Wait, Honor. explain. What lie detector test? I didn't give a lie detector test. Your Honor, I got the paperwork. Oh. On the lie detector test. I'm, <laughs> can, your Honor, can I... Can Jerome, you let me see his paperwork. Your Honor, let me explain it to you. So you say, <clears throat> Mr. Moody, she took a lie detector test and these are the results? Uh, that, that thing cost me $400. I had to pay $400 for them lies. <laughs> <laughs> $400. Woo! She, well, well, she wants to get married, Your Honor. I told her, you take this lie detector test. And if you pass this lie detector test, I'll marry you that same day and get you a ring that following week. <laughs> that following week. All right. I was gonna go. She, she, we looked at the rings and everything, y'all. We don't look at rings and everything. Oh, Sheila, I'm finna surprise you. Watch, you finna get this ring. Okay, whatever you say. We get in the, y'all. We get in the car. <laughs> we get in the car. We ride. I tell her over and over again. Whatever you have to tell me, tell me now. No matter if you slept with 50 men or had oral sex with 50 men, tell me. And on everything I love, I would not go nowhere. I told her that from the part she got in the car to the part she got out of the car at, the, at, the, uh, at where she was going to take the test at, you I be doggone. We get in there. She takes the test. The man come out and called me, looked at me and be like, Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good when they do that. Sir, she failed that test two times, sir. 
two times. I gave it to her once. She said she was nervous. I gave it to her again, and she failed it again, sir. Oh. He well, said, I don't know what you're going to do, but she's saying you're going to leave. I said, I'm going to leave her. When she got in the car, y'all, I already knew what the move was anyway because she was crying. Well, okay. You know what I'm saying? I, she was crying, y'all. When she so got she in the was car, crying because she knew she had failed the test. Yes, y'all. Well, let's review the questions she was asked. <laughs> Ms. Vaughn, during the lie Sorry. detector testing, you were asked, since 2013, have you had a sexual relationship with any male other than LaGrease? That would be Mr. Moody. Liar. And you failed that. Yes, Sharna. Next question. Since 2013, have you lied to LaGrease about any sexual contact you had with another male? Liar. You failed that. <laughs> and finally, you were asked, are you now hiding information about your sexual contact with another male since 2013? Compulsive liar. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive and you failed that question as well. Yes, Sean, I did. <clears throat> yes, I did. Ms. Vaughn, you failed every question. I did, Your Honor. And why are you emotional right now? What are you feeling? Because I'm not the same person I was. Everybody makes mistakes. I did make mistakes. I did lie. I was a compulsive liar. I had to grow up. I had to become a grown woman. And not just that, be better as a mother for my children. That's why I can't trust on them. I know science tears you do when she be lying. Okay, that's the past. I'm saying We're talking about now. I'm not, I'm not that person that I was then. When I took the lot of tech to test your honor, I thought I was going to be able to beat the system. That's how long that was ago, y'all. That's how long that was ago. Tell what I wanted to... It was last year, okay? Mm. It was oh. last year. Okay. But at that time, I still feel like I, I wanted to tell what I wanted to tell. Just because I've been drugged so much through this and through that, and I didn't want to lose him. So, yes, John, I did lie. I admitted that. But it's different. My mindset is different. The way I think is different. I became a grown woman. So, yes, I made a mistake. And yes, Kadir, I did. But Kadir is now three. And that's yes, why Mr. Is. Moody doubts that he that's just right. violated that's why I, father. That's why Absolutely, I want that. That's Yana. why I want that test results. Absolutely, uh, no. Yana. That's why. I, 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 I don't. Why. I don't know if anything could put a man's doubt. <laughs> I agree, Yana. I it agree. ease other than a DNA test. He's going to have doubt. Absolutely, Yana. And that doubt now is reflected on your your son. That has to hurt you as a mother as well. It does, Yana. And does it affect your ability to? Really buy in and be that dad you want to be to Kadir? Actually, it does, Yon. Actually, it does. I'm talking about, it, it really affects our relationship a whole lot. You know, I'm talking about, it really does. I can't trust her at all, Yon. When she leave to go to work, I don't know what she's doing. When she come home, I don't know. When I go to work, I don't know what she's doing. So this is the way it is at home now. You can't this, believe nothing she man, said. This is how it is, Yon. So as you look at Kadir every day when you see this beautiful child, you look at him, and deep down inside, you have doubt. Yes, ma'am. And when I come through the door, and I love that boy, I love him so much, because when I come through the door, he be the first one run up. Daddy, daddy, he the first one run up. Out of all the kids, he the first one run up. I and mean, you can look at my oldest son by her and my youngest son by her. He's a lot darker than both of them. He's a lot darker than both of them. But you know, but you know, looks, looks, don't looks don't mean nothing. Looks don't mean nothing. Looks don't mean nothing. Looks don't mean nothing. I just have serious doubts. That's all. That's such a beautiful picture of the family, <clears throat> and that beautiful picture is at stake right now. That yes, family. It yes, it is. Have you thought about if he isn't your biological? Yes, son? I have. I'm gone. You say you're done. Yes. If he's not your biological child. Yes, because we've been going through this for six years, y'all. And if, if it ain't no trust from then and now, as far as that child being mine, then what's the purpose and what's the use? That means I'd be wasting my time to continue to go. So everything's at stake now. Oh, everything's at stake. Yes, I did fail a lot of the tests, but that do not dictate the paternity of this man being the father of these children. I know for sure he's the father. Like he said, looks don't mean nothing, but he has the pointy nose like him. He has the round head. Man, that don't mean nothing. You're right, but I know for sure. I'm 100%, <clears> and <throat> I know that he's the father of Kadir. So there will be no surprises when 
I get this envelope from Jerome. No, ma'am, no surprise. Oh, she'll surprise you now. <laughs> she good at surprises. <clears throat> she real good at surprises. Well, the good I, thing... Everybody here be shocked. The good thing about a DNA test <laughs> is it's not about passing or failing. It's just about the truth. And I have that. Jerome. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Moody versus Vaughn, when it comes to three-year-old Kadir Moody... Yes, ma'am. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Moody, you are the father. Hello. Uh... Thank you. No, 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 don't want that. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, it made me feel a whole lot better, Your Honor. Thank you. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. And I'm happy. And I'm... I'm happiest for Kadir. <laughs> because a young boy needs to have the full support of his father. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be without a shadow of a doubt. And now you can continue to give him that love without having those doubts running through your mind. But you know, it's not gonna stop until you do, Miss Vaughn. Yes, ma'am. I do. I understand it, Your Honor. 